Flipgrid is a free tool that you can use to collect video from your students. To begin, go to flipgrid.com and select Educator Sign Up. Create an account or sign in with your Google account. Students will not need to create an account, only instructors. Add a new grid for each class or group that you teach. You will be able to add different topics on each of your grids for students to respond to. So most teachers create a grid per class period or for all of their similar classes if they want, say, all of their Honors 10 students to see each other's responses. Just think about how you want your student submissions grouped when you are creating your grids. You can make a grid public or restrict it by student ID or email. I do not want to enter all of my students' ID numbers, so I will use the school email option, which is only for schools who use Google or Microsoft email accounts. Students will use this flip code or a link to join my grid. You can change it here or go with what is suggested and click Next. Flipgrid added my school Gmail extension automatically, and I can add other email extensions if my students have a different Gmail account than I do. My grid is ready. I can copy and paste this link to Classroom, Schoology, or whatever LMS I am using. I can even embed my grid using the embed code provided. If I want to, I can update my grid cover or any of its details by selecting the pencil. If I do not want my students to download videos, I can toggle this off. Choose Update Grid when you're done with your changes. All new grids come with a Say Hello topic where students can simply introduce themselves. If you don't want or need this, you can change it to Hidden or use the actions to edit or delete it completely. Select Add New Topic to create a new topic for students to respond to. Enter your title and details. And then set the maximum recording time, which can be up to 10 minutes in length. You can optionally record or upload a video or add any of these other items to visually enhance or clarify your prompt. And then choose more options to configure the other controls, including whether you want moderation on or off, if you moderate, students won't see each other's videos until you approve or activate them. Decide whether students can reply to each other. You can even schedule this topic to release later and freeze it on the due date if desired. When students create their videos, they can add sticky notes and other interactive features and see their view counts. You can adjust all of these as desired. I'll leave most of them on so you can see what they do. Finally, decide if you'll give basic feedback, which includes these two categories, or you can customize it to add your own categories. Choose Create Topic when you're done. Post this link in your online classroom or website so students can be taken directly to this topic instead of just your overall class grid. Let me switch to student view. I'll paste in the link to the topic that Flipgrid provided, which prompts the student to sign in with their Google account. Students will see other replies here, unless they're the first, and they will click the plus to add their own reply. This will launch the student's microphone and camera, and they will be prompted to allow permission to their mic and camera. Here are the stickers, text, and filters that students can use to enhance their submissions. These tools can be toggled on or off in the topic settings, which I set when I created my topic, and of course I can always go back and edit later. The whiteboard option gives them an area to explain, type, or draw instead of using their webcam, which can be nice for the camera shy. Students choose the record icon when they are ready to record, or they can upload an existing video that they've already created, say with their phone, provided it is in one of these formats. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, students begin. They can pause as needed and resume their recording. There is also a redo option if they want to completely start over. And when they click Next, they have the opportunity to preview and trim their clip. And then they can even add more if they are under the time limit. Clicking Next after the preview allows them to set their selfie that will serve as the thumbnail for the video. 
And the next next takes them to the submission page where they can add a title and optional link to perhaps an accompanying Google Slides or other presentation. Students finalize by selecting Submit Video. I'll switch back to Teacher View now. I can see that one student has replied to my character comparison topic, and I can click View to visit the board in a new tab. Or I can click elsewhere on my topic for a list view. Clicking on each submission opens the grading or comment panel. I can use the video feedback button to reply with a video that only the student will see. I will enter my scoring feedback based on the rubric I set up for the topic. And the edit tab lets me change any of the submission information or download or even delete the student's video. When I'm finished, I will select email feedback so the student is notified and can view the information. Flipgrid provides an easy to use interactive video discussion area for you and students.